Hi, this is Jeanette with the TT for T team, and today we're going to take a look at Google Forms. So once you're logged into Google and into your drive, just navigate over to the red new button, click on that, go all the way down to more, and then up to Google Forms with the green icon. Once you get to the Google Forms um, layout, the first thing I like to tell you to do is go ahead and title your form. So I'm going to go just title this budget quiz for now. You can always change it later. It's nice to get that name on there so that if you accidentally have a lot of untitled forms, you know which is which. And then at the top, you have some options for your form. You can require login to view this form. And then the second one, automatically collect respondents usernames. I like to select that and then um, it's important to do that if you're going to use Flubaroo to grade, automatically grade your assignment and we have another video on our TT for T YouTube channel that you can watch uh, that teaches you how to use Flubaroo to automatically grade and then you can email the responses uh, to your students so they can see their grades quickly and automatically. So it's important that you collect that. So it will look something like this, and it'll tell you that it's going to collect your uh, Google username, and in our case, also your email, and then it'll say if it's not you um, to correct that. You can show a progress bar at the bottom, allow only one response per person, which does require a login, and I like to do that if I'm doing in any type of assessment formative um, or something that I don't want the students to do twice and then you can shuffle the question order and then you come down here and you just start to uh, enter your questions one thing to remember with Google Forms is that it does not number so if you like your questions numbered you're going to want to put a number one in there and then go ahead and type your question title which is your question once you type your question down here if you needed to provide any help test text, excuse me, you could provide that right there. And then you have a lot of question type options here. One is multiple choice, text, paragraph text, check boxes, choose from a list, scale, grid, date, and time. So this one for me is going to be multiple choice. And then I'm going to add my answers in down here for my options. And you can tab through these uh, to put them on. You can also, if you have these, maybe typed your answers in another Google spreadsheet, you can copy those answers and paste them over very quickly if you don't like the navigation of Google Forms and having to tab. So I will type in my possible answers here. Then once you get all your question answers typed in, if there are any you want to remove in the process, you just click the X to the right. And then at the bottom, you want to make sure if it, this is a required question, that you check mark that. You can select done or you can also come down here and just say add an item. And I'm going to add an item and I did this out of order to show you how easily it is to move the questions. I wanted to actually add their name at the beginning. So that is just going to be a text question and the answer is going to be or the question is going to be name. If I needed any help text there again I would put that in there leave it as text. Here's their answer. It is a required question. And then for now, I'm going to, going to go ahead and hit done. Now, if you'll see over here on the side, you can see that right now I have this question selected and you get the um, four headed arrow. You just click there to move it and drag it up and you can see it where it's going to go and drop. And then you can move that question right to the top. Now, if you've done something wrong with the question, you need to edit it. Just hover over your question and then hit the pencil and you can go ahead and edit it. When you're done editing, you select done. One other thing I like about Google Forms I would like to show you is how you can insert pictures or graphics. So if you had a math type of question, uh, so I'm going to go ahead here and I'm going to add, I'm going to do this a little bit different, but I'm going to add an image right now. And the image that I'm going to add is a picture of a budget because I'm doing a quiz over budgeting. So it asks me to choose. I can take a snapshot 
um, but I'm just going to choose my image because it's on my desktop right now. It's teenager budget. And there it is. I'm going to say open. And it drops that image right into your Google form. So now that my image is in there, and I'm going to give it a name. And then I'm going to say, please use this image to answer the questions below. Okay? Then I'm going to come down here and I can center it. I can right align it or left align it. I'm just going to center it for now. Didn't change it too much. And I'm going to add then a multiple choice question. I'll make this very easy. And this is my question number two. Does the budget above balance? And then the options are yes and no. And it is a required question and hit done. So now the students can look at the picture above and then answer the question. So this is great for uh, math questions if you have a graph or even if you had you know, a picture of a map for something in social studies. There are a lot of options that you can do right here with adding a picture. And you could have put the picture below the question also. So that's one of the things I like about it. Down at the bottom, once you're done putting all your questions in, you have the confirmation page. What it defaults to, it says your response has been recorded. If you'd like to change that to something else, you can go ahead and highlight that information and write whatever you'd like to write. I usually just leave it. You can, I already have decided not to let them submit another response. You can publish and show a public link to the form results or allow responders to edit responses after they've submitted. You have a couple of those options. A couple things up top here on a Google form. You can change the theme of your form and we do have another video on how to customize your themes if you watch that on our YouTube channel. You can also view the responses. Right now there is not there are not any responses so you could view the responses. You can also view the live form which is nice. So if you want to see what your students will see you can go ahead and click on that and decide if you like the way that looks or if you would rather have it look differently. The other thing that's changed just a little bit, uh, if you come over here to file and you would actually like to uh, share this with another collaborator and you'd like to collaboratively work on this with someone, if you click on file and add collaborators, and here's the link to share, okay, it's only accessible to collaborators. Who has access right now? I do, and if I would like to invite people, I will type their email address down here. So I'm going to add my other trainer account and I'm going to say that I can edit and go ahead and send the form. And then I'm going to mark done. So now I have switched over to my other trainer account and I can see right here the budget quiz has been shared with me. I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And once I get in there, I can see that I am over also as a viewer over here. And if I wanted to come in here and change something, so let's just change this to a first and last name. And then say done. And then if I flip back over to the other account, I can see already that it's automatically changed. So this is great if you're collaborating with people. And then the other great thing that you can do over here is you guys could have a chat with the other people uh, that you were working on this with and ask them, does number one look correct? And then you can collaboratively work on this document. So that's a nice feature that uh, Google Forms has for us. When you are ready to send your form to your students or staff, come over here to the right hand corner, the blue send form button, click on that and you have a couple options here. Here's the link to share. If you just click on it and press uh, command C, it will copy that. So you could paste that somewhere into an email or on a web page. You can also, if you're using your web page though, it's nice to embed the form. You can use a short URL and it will shorten it up, which is very nice to use. You can also post it to Google Plus, Facebook, Twitter. I could also just come down here and type in someone's email address 
include the form in the email and send me a copy. I don't always like to include the form in the email, but that is an option. And when you're ready to send that, you can send it. Sometimes uh, teachers will make a QR code with this and have the students use their devices to access the form um, and take the quiz. So that's how you would send it. That's a quick tutorial on how to create a Google form to find out how to view the responses and use Fluberoo to grade. Please watch one of our videos and to find out how to customize your themes to your liking, watch another one of our videos at our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.